So I have a question. Um, is the Pope a Christian? No. <laughs> and more particularly, is this Pope a Christian? <laughs> um, let's let's hear what he said. No, no. Hey, ci vuole litigare. Yes, it's okay to discuss and to. Tutte le religioni sono un cammino per arrivare a Dio. Because every religion is a way to arrive at God. Sono, dirò una comparazione, sono come diverse lingue, diversi idiomi per arrivare lì. Sort of a comparison, an example would be they're sort of like different languages in order to arrive at God. Ma Dio è Dio per tutti. But God is, is God for all. E come Dio è Dio per tutti, noi siamo tutti figli di Dio. And if God is God for all, then we're all sons and daughters of God. Ma il mio Dio è più importante del tuo. But my God is more important than your God. È vero quello? Is that true? C'è un solo Dio lì. E noi sono idiomi, cammino, lingue per arrivare a Dio. There's only one God and each of us is a language, so to speak, in order to uh, arrive at God. Qualcuno è schi, qualcuno è musulmano, qualcuno è indi, qualcuno è cristiano. Indo, Christian. Sono diversi cammini. There, there are different paths. Understood? <laughs> Okay, so um, basically what he said, he's talking at an interfaith mm. group and essentially told them all paths lead to God. So essentially it doesn't matter if you're a Muslim or this or that. You're all headed to the same place. Um, I think Brother Anna, right? not him, but I, I think. <laughs> you right, you hot, right. Hot take, strong, hot take, maybe not. I think the position of the Pope is the Antichrist. Or he gonna be real close. Might be his right hand man. If he ain't him, he's super close. He sure mm. got the spirit, the Antichrist. Yeah, I, think, <laughs> mm. I think the Pope's the Antichrist, bro. So, Cause that's not biblical. What Bible are you reading? And yeah. first of all, there is not just one God. Even if you read the Bibles, there are there is more than one God. And you dang right, my God is the one and true God, the God of the Bible, the God who issues absolute truth. And I will stand on that to the day that I die. So let's be clear about that. Excited. He didn't say Excited. that. Though. No, he was. No, he, he said, did say there's more than one way. No, Jesus well, is, is the only way to I God. Say he didn't say he didn't say my God is the one true God. He said my God is more important. That's false. No, 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 no. No, he no, was no. quoting he, he other was, people. He was saying that that's not true. Mm -hmm. He was saying my God is more important than your God. Is that true? He's saying it like rhetorically. Oh, okay. yeah. I thought he was asking the question. Mm -mm. He so. said there's one God. We're all God's children. Um, what else did he say? They're all ways lead to God, like different languages. That is not true. So let me let me tell you this. The people who are defending him say there's a Catholic doctrine that's, that essentially says something similar, that all religions lead people to God. And what they lead them to is that Jesus Christ is the one true God. So they're saying that it could be that he just misspoke that doctrine. Um, oh, because oh, right, your <laughs> life is to study or that he, doctrine. the leader of, or they're saying that maybe the translator <laughs> mistranslated him. Mm. So I will. The only thing I'll I will say something. differently is that there is only one true God. There are other lower G mm -hmm. competitor demon gods, but the what American Christians call God, capital G, is creator of all creators, yeah, yeah, King yeah. of Kings, Lord of Lords. There's only one of those. So the here's here's where I could say. Somebody could say something similar to what he said and it'd be okay, but he went too far because he's trying to give them cover to be like, remember, they clapped at the end. The reason they're clapping is because he said, you're good. You're mm -hmm. good. You're good. You're good. You don't have to be a Christian. You could be your thing. You'll mm -hmm. still get to God. Have you seen no that is false. Have y'all seen no TV commercials with the Pope? No. Where they had different people who were like Muslim, different religion, whatever. He said, everybody come home. Like, everybody come oh, yeah, back to the, the one true show. Like, it's a commercial. It's on TV. He said, everybody come oh, home. Oh, for Catholicism? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, everybody, we, this is where everything started. Come home. Yeah. That's what they were saying. So, we're going to do an expose on Catholicism. So, just just real quick. So, Catholicism is, is the first, like, institutional church. It's supposed to be based on, on Peter, right? Mm -hmm. um, the problem is the Catholic church straight away from sound biblical teaching and started allowing certain things in that were apocryphal, meaning they were, they were yeah. uh, um, based on mysticism, Christian mysticism, right? Mm -hmm. So Martin Luther 
started the Protestant Reformation by saying, we're going to go back to the original <laughs> meaning of the Bible. Mm -hmm. We've added too much onto it. We had, we've added robes and big buildings and this thing. And I could pray somebody out of hell if I want to, or I can, I, I have to pray to Mary or after we added too much to the original text. Let's get back to that. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's not that the Catholic church w wasn't the church. It's that the Catholic church has been corrupted. Mm -hmm. So people have broken away from it so that they could get back to the source. Now, so there are Catholics that are Christians, but I would say that the Catholic church is not a good place to go to find the true source of God, right? So the problem is one of the core doctrines that became problematic is thinking that the Pope has like, is infallible. Right Now they will defend themselves and say, no, we don't really think that he could be wrong, this and that. But essentially his role is to be like the, the giver of yeah. wisdom, right? Yeah. Your Pope and not, you're saying all of them, the last one was better. The last one. Yeah. Yeah. You know when they put the smoke up in the air and they pick this, they, the smoke lied. This guy, <laughs> this ain't the one. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I say all of them because the title of Pope Mm -hmm. You look, I think it's in Latin or something, it means vicar of God. Mm -hmm. and, and vicar vic of Christ. Yeah. yeah, vicar of Christ means God on earth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, that's, that's, that's the blasphemy. idea of Pope is wrong yeah, from the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You can't be God on earth walking around with a bulletproof glass. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, what, mm -hmm. ooh, you, know, you gotta like, have some type of protection. Man, but but it's yeah. so here's the problem. So if you're looking if you're looking to the Pope to be kind of like God's voice on earth, which is wrong in the first place. Right. Mm -hmm. Their whole, the whole, the whole structure of having to talk to your the priest and the, right. all the way from the bottom is wrong yeah, because you is. should be able to talk to Jesus yourself. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. So it, the, the, there's, there's problems all the way up and down and mm -hmm. those problems were added on slowly over time. And that's why it's become corrupt. But the Pope it's possible for somebody who knows the Bible to be the Pope. But this one in particular has a lot of problems. <laughs> the fact that he yeah. could say something like this, which hints at more of a Baha'i faith, which is all faiths are true faiths. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. You could believe this one, that one, that one. We're all going to go to heaven. Is wrong. Mm -hmm. Anti-Christ. It's, it's completely wrong. And sure me, which means you are not a Christian. Because what a Christian means is that you, you believe that Jesus, when he said, I am the way, the truth, the truth and the life, yeah. mm -hmm. no one gets to the Father Except through but me. through me. Yeah. There is no other path. There yeah. is no other way. I don't yeah. buy that stuff. Like he was saying, some people might try to defend it where all the roads are going to lead to finding out. Nah, ain't no mm -hmm. all the roads. The road is narrow. All the roads, you know narrow. Yeah. No, yeah. All the roads are going to lead you if to the You're on a broad road, right. you're headed to destruction. Yeah. Now, it that. doesn't mean that if you are of Islam faith or, or a Buddhist or whatever, that God can't find you there. Absolutely. Right. But saying that that is a viable path to find salvation is wrong. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And it's super dangerous. So this is a big issue. If I had any kind of sway in the Catholic church, it would be like, get rid of this dude. He is not, I don't, mm -hmm. I don't care what his title affords to him. Get him out of here. He is trash. <laughs> this dude needs to get saved. Seriously, like that is wrong. And and he's supposed to be your representative. Mm -mm. Yeah. You know how I feel about that. Man, he can go all day with that stuff. Man. Even <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's a scripture like, in Revelation that talks like about Trump or the Cow. <laughs> <laughs> Throw them both out. It's a scripture in Revelation. I, I can't remember what chapter. I want to say seventeen. I could be off. Don't quote me on that precisely but it says something about the woman which in church and um, revelation was a representative of the, of the church it said the woman was chased into the wilderness and when it came out of the wilderness it came out adorned in purple and scarlet with a gold cup in his hand um pretty much a lot of symbolism that you will see connected to the catholic church and pretty much saying that the woman was tainted um the woman was tainted at some point by the enemy or the dragon or whatnot and when you look at all the things that happened they said in that cup was the blood of the martyr of the saints you remember uh during that time when the catholic church was just Murdering people Like during the Reformation period If mm -hmm. you came against the Pope Or came against what was the, uh, the order of the day They were killing people And murdering people Burning you at the stake mm -hmm. Saying you believed in witchcraft And all yeah. this kind of stuff like, I don't know I just believe them for wicked I believe brother Antichrist Not him in particular Just that position and I could be wrong mm -hmm. But if he's not the Antichrist He's definitely of the spirit Of the Antichrist mm -hmm. So sure. real quick uh, and I know we gotta move on So if we're saying We're saying Catholics are Christians I'm saying that a Catholic might be able to be a Christian, but that I would never send anybody that direction to, to find out. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Gotcha. Like that, I would gotcha. never recommend, oh yeah, go, yeah, you, you want to know more about the Lord? Go to a Catholic church to find out. Gotcha. I gotcha. wouldn't suggest okay. that. Just because it's too much has been caked on top of the truth that now it's like, 
you got to go through so many layers to get to a conversation with God that yeah. already is wrong. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Because I think yeah. they use the scripture like I'm um, in confession sins to one another as the, a point of saying you can go talk to the Father so you can bring, do confession mm-hmm. basically yeah, yeah. versus like how we supposed to if James is going through something he can come to one of us and yeah. we have for counsel. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to talk so to Larry. I, can... I want to talk to Jesus. You, know what yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you shouldn't have to talk to me to right. talk to God. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You right. talk to me to get extra counsel so, on yeah. what God already yeah. told you. Right. right. I definitely think we should do like a deep dive on that because essentially I don't know if they are. I don't think they push a personal relationship with God and with Jesus I don't think so so and and I'm, I'm always careful with this because I do know people who who've come from Catholic traditions that believe that Jesus Christ is the only way to the Father they believe that Jesus Christ is God himself mm-hmm. they it's Jesus said that if you believe in me and you you do as I say then you are with me so I don't want to exclude that whole group of yeah, people because yeah, yeah, yeah. right, right, right. some of them may generally yeah. feel that but then they just like we've been taught wrong things they've been right, taught right, wrong right. things but, so. then they, but then you they may add on to also pray to Mary or pray to the saints or right. pray to them yeah. like these candles and it's like no nah, like yeah. I think there's a lot yeah. of unlearning that needs I to I think take some place. Catholics are, I, I don't, like he was saying I know some Catholics who believe in the, the core essentials of our faith for Jesus being God and, and also Jesus being the only way it just mm-hmm. but also it's just some other things in the midst of that and I think Pretty much to be honest, I think when we get to heaven, we're all going to find out some things that we were wrong about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's uh, true. If, you, if you got That's that, true. if you got those core essentials of believing That's that true. Jesus is the only way, He died on the cross for your sin, rose from the grave, and, yeah. and He's God. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. you have those essentials, I think you'll be fine. There's just mm-hmm. some clues mm-hmm. in a majority of Catholic doctrines that point to if you believe this, do you really believe what we believe? Right. If you really mm-hmm. believe Jesus is the only way, Jesus is the one true God, then why do you allow for prayer to saints? Right. If you really believe that Jesus Christ died for your sins, that if you believe in him, you won't have to face the second death. Mm -hmm. Why do you believe that you can pray for people in hell to get saved? Yeah. Right. It's like, if you really believe that, why would you think that's, that's the only thing. It's, It's just, we have to have a long conversation <laughs> yeah, about yeah. how those yeah. things match. Yeah. But again, that's a conversation that's been going on for hundreds of years. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I don't want to exclude anybody that is just a genuine just misunderstandings that we all have. Yeah. Right. Because that, that would imply that I believe 100% true things. Mm-hmm. And nobody should feel that way. But, but you your theology I mean? proves you believe that God is 100% The Jesus thing that matters and, the yeah. most mm-hmm. is what you think about Jesus. Yeah. Yes. We could disagree on should should women wear pants or skirts, but should we should not disagree on who Jesus is? Yeah. You know what I'm right, not like but I, who Mary is either. Okay, so maybe you can help me out, fill this out though, because it's like, do they? We can. Okay, so we un- have the understanding that Jesus Christ is Lord. Even the demons understand that. Mm-hmm. They they understand who Jesus is. Um, are they pushing a re- intimate relationship with Jesus Christ because I feel like this is just a, a food for thought and a question and like I said y'all can help me fill it out because if you're pursuing a relationship with Jesus Christ even the scripture saying that like the I was studying that I press on to the mark which is the high calling of Christ and even mature Christians um, should think this way and if it don't I pray even God reveals it to you so it's like if you're wholeheartedly believing all of these things that are not biblical would it an uh, intimate relationship with god reveal these things to you okay. and if it hasn't been i would check on that i would pray on that Real and quick. submit that to god i think what I'm you sure. were saying is right though i think it's some people who are just who genuinely are pursuing christ wholeheartedly and they want the truth and want to know the truth mm-hmm. they may have just been raised within the catholic church so they kind of filtering through stuff right and they may come to a conclusion though you know what this is not necessarily right i believe in jesus i believe in the essentials but the application of stuff on the outside of this i don't necessarily agree with right. so let yeah. me go right ahead. and then some people may clearly just believe in, in the Cause life. There, there's a lot of procedural stuff even in our black churches that are ungodly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That we make excuses for. So that's why I'm like, you might I can DDT for touching the communion table. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there, there, there's some things that you can have grace over that's just like, you grew up that way, I understand why you feel that way. Real, but right, right, real quick, right. somebody asked you a question, jo- Joseph King says, Sean, didn't Jesus go to hell after the death on the cross and preach to the dead there? 
preach to the dead. Give me a give me, Jesus? A, give me a verse. Because no. <laughs> it's how much he said he unlocked the, yeah, unlock the keys. I don't think he literally went down there and got the keys. I think what they're saying, what he did on the cross, pretty broke, much yeah, broke, broke, broke the curse exactly. of sin and death. Right. He didn't go down there. Let me go down here and get them keys real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I don't I got, know. I got a Cadillac like, out here waiting Paul's on there. I don't know. Only God knows. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, do that, I, don't think. I think I think the, the situation before his death and resurrection was if you die um there was a there was a holding place called hades where even people who were destined for heaven were it was like a holding place right mm -hmm. so it was remember we're living in a post uh resurrection world where it's very clear that things from the law it was very works based with the future that you know there are people in the old testament who were living as friends of god that didn't have the sacrifice of jesus in their mind but they knew something was coming mm -hmm. so they put their forward faith in that what jesus was doing was saying okay i have fulfilled the covenant i'm going to get those people back they they don't belong to you they belong to me mm -hmm. yeah. i've done what i promised i would do is my is my world now you see what i'm saying so mm -hmm. I wouldn't confuse that language with being able to pray for somebody who's already lived their entire life. They have decided not to believe in Jesus. They've gone to the grave and still being able to pray for on their behalf to get to heaven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, purgatory, I, that, that just feels that purgatory stuff. It, feel, it feels mm -hmm. like why do you, I understand why you would want to believe that, but where is it in, in the Bible that you can, you can do that. It just, right. mm -hmm. again, but, but again, you know but again, mm -hmm. We can have those discussions. Right. That to me is not immediately. Oh, you that, that means you're not a right. Christian. Right. That's why the conversations need to keep happening mm -hmm. amongst hopefully brothers and sisters to where we iron those things out. That's what the show is for. Right. But if you don't know that Jesus Christ is God, He was sent to to live your life um, perfectly so that you could put your faith in Him and His blood covers your sacrifices. If we don't both say that, then then we're on but, the wrong foot. But I, I would say this. Um, and this is for anybody that's a Christian. Um, if somebody's adding on to the faith, yes, I, w I would tell them like, "Hey, mm -hmm. you need to stop doing that." Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's and that's regardless if you Catholic or Protestant. If you are at a if you're a Christian and you still doing horoscope, New Ageism, you need to stop. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah. and that's why I think her, me, and her kind of feel the same as like because we we've, we've seen and then we not every Catholic does this, but we've seen. People say Hail Mary. We've seen people say, um, I need to pray to Saint such and such. And it's like, no, yeah. you don't. You don't have to do any of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's what we're saying. If you're adding on to the faith that's not biblically based, yeah. then you mean to check and that's, that. And that's why it's important for you not to listen to what your pastor or priest exactly. says, yeah. but to literally go and read it yourself. Mm -hmm. Like if you haven't done the effort of reading the whole Bible yourself i would say try your best to start that as soon as possible yeah because you'll run across things that people don't preach from a pulpit it's no. not that it's yeah. not the highlight verses yeah. but they add so much context to how this all works right. that if you've never come across it in your own study yeah then you're just taking other people's word for it exactly you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. and who who wants to live this whole life and they get in front of jesus and find out you were wrong yeah. like just like just thinking of that like makes me shake and give me tears so it's like how else will the spirit of god reveal this to you other than you seeking him and you reading his word because a lot of things that i've heard not only just with catholicism but like you said with the regular church i did a lot of unlearning because i was like that don't this don't sound yeah, right so i this? went deep diving into the bible myself and i was like a lot of these colloquialisms are not biblically rooted mm, yeah you gotta do some deconstruction sometime, man. And, like, and have a solid foundation with your faith. I think we gotta have a more intelligent faith. I think, yes, especially in the black church, we have a more. A lot of times, we've had a more emotional faith, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. and a more of a hearsay type of faith based off what we hear other people saying. But you have to have an intelligent faith, and I believe that because you're basing your whole life off of this. You're raising your children off of this. Mm -hmm. Like everything yeah. in your life is revolved around what you say you believe in. So I feel like that's worth giving some effort to see what it really says, so Definitely. you can really know what you need to be doing.